So I finally replaced my GoPro with the best action camera I've ever used, the Sony FDR X3000. I'm the everyday dad, and if you saw my previous video about my GoPro, you know I just couldn't take it anymore. Since then I've had a lot of comments about the FDR X3000, so let's talk about it. But before we talk about that, remember this is the last week for the Joby Gorilla Pod Stand Grip Tight Gorilla Pod Stand for Large Cell Phones giveaway. So subscribe and leave a comment below on if you like the FDR better or the GoPro Hero 5 better, and we'll talk about it. But the winner for this will be announced on Wednesday. So this is not going to be a full review of the FDR X3000. If you want to see a full review, leave a comment below and tell me you'd like to see a full review. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the four things I really like about this camera, and the four things I don't really like about this camera, and the one thing that I really like about the GoPro that the FDR X3000 doesn't have. So plus number one, the stabilization. This is the big thing that Sony did right that no other action camera on the market has. Most action cameras have what's called electronic image stabilization or EIS. That's what the GoPro has. That's what all the action cameras have. That's where they take a big, they take a big 4K image and they pare it down. So if you want stabilization, you gotta sacrifice some video quality to, for them to take the shakes out of the camera. The Sony doesn't have that. They have optical image stabilization where the lens itself moves around a little bit as you're taking a picture to give you a very nice smooth shot. And it's the best looking stabilization you're going to find on an action camera. Number two, battery life. So when I was using my GoPro Hero 5, I could only get about, if I got an hour out of the GoPro Hero 5, I was lucky. This, I'll get about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes per battery. Now I don't shoot in 4K, I shoot in 1080p by 24 or by 30, depending on the, uh, the video I'm doing. So if I was on 4K, it would be a little less, but that is great battery life compared to the GoPro. Also, I use this and my secondary action cameras, the Sony FDR-X1000, the generation before, and they use the same batteries. How great is that? It used to frustrate me so much. I had a GoPro Hero 5 Black and I had a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black, and they used different batteries. So it was always, I'd have to keep track of two different sets of batteries. I really didn't like it. I really like that Sony standardized their batteries, so I only have to worry about charging one set. Number three, image quality. The image quality on this action camera is awesome. I love how crisp the footage looks. It, I'm not saying the GoPro image is bad. The GoPro has an okay image, but I really like how vivid the colors are and how sharp the Sony FDR X3000 is. Number four, and this is the big one. I think this is even bigger than stabilization. Audio. The GoPro Hero 5 Black, to get any kind of audio out of that, you have to buy this secondary adapter that's huge, and you have to plug it in to get a 3.5 millimeter in. Whereas on the Sony FDR-X3000, check this out. Can you see that? Yeah, it's got a 3.5 millimeter in built into it. That's just that's amazing. This is the year 2017. Like, we should not have to think about audio. Like, it shouldn't be hard to get good audio. I mean, I would argue that the audio of this video is almost as, as, if not more important than the video quality. So it's really good on Sony that they have the 3.5 millimeter in built in. And we're going to take a test on this real quick on the motorcycle. So this is the audio test with the FDR X3000 while riding the motorcycle. One two, three, four, five. Audio test. Now we're gonna get into the things that I don't really like about the action camera. They're not deal breakers, but they are irritating. One is the shape. 
I really like how squat the GoPros are. It lets it, it lets it get a lot closer to your face, and it really lets you kind of like not be subtle, but it's a, I guess it is a more subtle camera to use. This sticks out a lot. I'm gonna show you here on my motorcycle helmet, because I do a lot of videos on my motorcycles. Um, and I do like doing, I, I still like this camera, but you'll see here, that's a lot of camera, and it sticks out really far. And when you add in the case, which I always run with the case because I don't, I want to protect the lens, it is a huge piece of uh, camera gear. It's not, it's not the greatest, but it's still doable. So number two that I don't like is the menu system. The GoPro Hero 5 Black has a very nice touchscreen that makes it really easy to change all the settings. So I will give that to the GoPro. And the Sony here, as you can see, has this really just not easy to use menu. You have to tap through it to get anywhere you hit the record button to go in and then you can change all the settings but it's it's not as easy as it could be I find that I really have to pair it with my cell phone if I want to change the settings I really want the Sony has their play memories app and it, it's not horrible but it's not the best I did really like how easy it was with the GoPro number three the low light performance on this camera is not the greatest in my experience I haven't had a chance to really fully use it in the low light but I don't really think any action cameras have fantastic low light capabilities, but I really don't, I really don't like the low light functionality of this camera. Uh, if you saw my last video with the Everyday Kid, uh, we kind of shot that on the Sony in a little bit of the non-perfect lighting situation, and I really didn't like how the image quality came out of that. So low light, not that great. Number four. Now this is the thing that GoPro does much better than Sony, and that's the super view. If you've ever used the GoPro Hero 5 Black, they have a mode called Super View, which really sets out the angle of the camera. Now, the Sony has up to wide, and it's not as wide as Super View, but especially when I'm like riding on my motorcycle, I really liked how far you could see with the Super View. You could see everything instead of being like stuck to a more confined area of viewing angle. I, have to, I find that I have to be much more careful with my head angle as I'm filming while using with a with a motorcycle as opposed to the super view on the GoPro. So those are the four things that I really like and the four things that I don't like as much about the Sony FDR X3000. All in all, I think this is the best action camera on the market today. The image quality is outstanding. The stabilization is better than any other action camera on the market. It is just a good camera. And if you're looking to get a GoPro alternative or an alternative to the GoPro, seriously check this out. So hey everybody, thanks for watching. Click that subscribe button below, join the awesome community we have here. You'll get to see a lot more footage shot with this amazing camera. And I cover a lot of other things that are pretty exciting we should probably watch. If you like this video, leave a like. And I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure out how to use this kind of confusing menu on this camera, you can figure it out. Thanks for watching.